Good afternoon, my name is Cecile from Nidix, and uh, this is going to be part two of the unpacking, unboxing video of um, a large applique and quilt lot that, or quilt pattern lot that I had purchased on Facebook Marketplace. I've already started to list the uh, fall patterns, and um, I've already listed, uh, listed five, five of them today, this morning. So we are just going to go through the rest and um, see what else that we find. There are not that many left, but so let's start going. This one um, is called Marion Thomas. Seems to be a couple of dolls. Looks Christmassy again, like a Christmas carol singing. Ch for children of Christmas, it says up there. All right, so um, we put that on the Christmas lot. Now I'm kind of out of the, out of habit of you know because I, I took such a long break all on the weekend and never had time to record. Okay, this is a folk art wedding quilt. Very nice. I, I tried to bring it in a little, little bit more. Oh, that's very nice. So I guess I'll just put it on the uh, general quilt pile for now. Tahoe Trails Vest. That's another one of these uh, vests. It's called Eileen's uh, by Eileen's Design Studio. Very nice. Again, very 80s. Putting in that on the clothes. Um, this one is Ab Abby Lane Des Designs and it's to the fair. Um, a couple of dolls. Teddy bears, I guess. Very cute. I'm putting this on the... I did have a doll pile. Yeah, let's put that on the doll pile. Angel A. A heavenly hair. So I guess it could be Christmas and a hair. Christmas or Easter. Hmm. I guess I'll, I'll put it on the Easter. This one is patchwork vest. Let's see the vests, very very cute. Perfect for requilted fabrics. I'm putting this on the vest pile. Um, till you come home. Very nice, and it's like an Amer Americana theme. Hmm, where should I put this? Put this. I'm just gonna put it on like wall hanging quilt pile. Snuggly critters. More uh, plushies. Very nice. Hoppy hair. It's definitely uh, Christmas. Ah, uh, Christmas Easter. Homespun Treasures, and it's called Snowflake. Little teddy bear in white. Put that on the Christmas pile. Hocus Pocus Halloween. Very cute. This is na Nativity Tree. Joseph and Mary and the baby Jesus. Really, I guess we'll put this. Is this an ornament? Yeah, might be an ornament. Um, blanket. Heart ornaments. It says Christmas on it, so we'll put that clearly on the Christmas pile. Mine and yours. Gingerbread Dreams, and this seems to be, it has a fabric inside, so it seems to be an actual kit that we'll have to look at it in more detail later. But it does seem to be a sweater, so I guess it has some parts of it on it. Yeah, well, I'll put it on the clothing pile for now. No, nah, I'll put it on Christmas, because it is a Christmas sweater. Love and Stuff, Big Jake Flake. Welcome. Another Christmas theme, or at least winter. Mm, 
Osage Country Quilt Factory, Osnaburg Angel Garland, Christmas, Clothesline Quilts, Mother's Day Pillow. Oh, well, Mother's Day has passed, so I'll put that with the spring and Easter. Angel in my heart. Remember when. It's going to be a doll or an angel. I'll put that in the doll section over there. Frosty Freddy. Frosty Greetings. Christmas. Tall Tally Tilly. Heart to hand. Like I said so. <clears throat> I don't know, even know. I guess it's a wall hanging. I'll just put it over there with the doll. Nah, let's put it here. Karen's Craftware. Spring. Garden Angel. Easter, Easter spring, a sweet love seat, soft doll chair and pin cushion. Oh, very cool. So we'll do this, put this with the dolls. Country apron, country quilts. All kind of like a little house on the prairie type. Goes with the clothes. I have one in my store. It, it, I listed it. sold like within a few days. Goodies from Grandma. Dear Heart. Maybe that's how I mean. Not sure. Twice as nice. Barely an angel. Barely an angel. Yeah. Moving round Dottie's designs wreath and single picks now we, we always associate reefs with Christmas but there is Easter reefs and there's really reefs for all season uh, it's a symbol of eternity because it's round and you know if the thing's always coming back it's also I mean it signifies many things like uh, almost like the year it's a symbol for the year for the four seasons for everything Jake's Angel. Another teddy bear. Unky Boo. Do Dozer Dog. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Pattern. Buster and Mr. Brown. Indigo Junction. The bear pattern. I used to love making plushies. Kind of stop. We already had that one. That's a folk art wedding. We'll put that again with the wedding. Or with the wall hangings. Abby Lane. All aboard. Seafaring Prophets. 8 inch. It's a biblical theme. So we'll put it with Christmas for now. Coats of many colors. Heart to heart. Six applique coats to fit 30 inch dolls. Very. I just love these like country patterns. I just, I wish my days would never end and I could just do whatever I wanted all day. <clears throat> country angel. I should sh sharp snapdragon if I could only read. Very cute. Some Christmas. Crows and sunflowers. Wild goose chase. So I don't know if that's a wall hanging or a vest or all of all the above. I'll put that definitely with the um fall theme. Tumblr. 
quilting template with a seam allowance. Shores Prairie patchwork, very, very beautiful. Oh yeah, I like the quilt. Garden Gate, another awesome quilt. Wildman's Wild Things. Hmm, I don't even know what that is. Oh, now I see when I pulled it further away. It's kind of like a coat or a blouse. Clothesline quilts. Mother's Day pillow. We already had that. I got it. Oh, let's put it with spring. Squares and rails, skirt and belt. This kind of, I just walked, stay sweet or keep sweet. I just watched this documentary on Netflix about um, these religious organization groups. And that dress reminds me of that. Your special mini bestsellers, 135, number 135. Very nice. I guess these are Christmas ornaments another comes with um, country friends or dart gardening and sewing dolls to sit or hang we'll put that with spring Easter bits and pieces by Joanne another um, I guess applique vest Quilted Rabbit, Anna and Wendy, a couple of dolls again, down memory lane, our key Santa and button tree, oh, great idea, I'm definitely, that's definitely going to be Christmas. Old Fashioned Gingerbread, Quilter's Haven, okay, Quilter's Haven, what is this, I guess it's a quilt, maybe a Christmas quilt, well we, we call these little um, guys uh, in German, we call them Gerichtgewands, they are edible and we make them usually for Christmas. Um, spring Jar Pickens Stitchery Pattern. I wonder what that is. Primitive Blessings by Twigs and Sprigs. I guess it's a... Is this going to be like a quilt? Applique slash embroidery. I'll put that there now for now. Christmas Fur Vest. Definitely is going to win the prize at the Ugly Christmas Sweater Contest. <laughs> so we'll put this on the Christmas pile. No, that's on the clothing pile, but we'll put it on the Christmas pile. Um, more applique sweaters, and there is actually a, a bag. Caught up in stitches, my little chickadees. Very cute. Could also go with spring. Mama made me do it. A couple of mama bears. Vitoria. <laughs> yeah, putting this over there. Friendship circles. Sassafras. Oh, I guess it's like a, a, a tree skirt. That was Christmas. The whole country caboodle. I had I just listed the um, no by the same designer. Parsley pansy and petunia. We'll put that with uh, Easter spring. And this is bluebird and watermelon. It's a pillow. Odell House. Mm, 
watermelon. Maybe it's a harvest. Harvesting. So we'll put it with the fall. This is the last one. Per Louise Designs. Harden My Garden. Herbs. Beatrice Basilini. Or Bas Basiline. Happiness is homemade. Very nice. Mm, should I put that with the garden or fall? Or I guess I'll put this with the fall thing. Alrighty, so we, um, we're done looking at all the patterns. I think there are over a hundred. I have, I need to count them up. There are probably about 140, 150 patterns. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If anything you see that you like, let me know. I can get it out to you. Please, um, if you contact me through eBay, then I will have to sell it to you through eBay. But if you could just shoot me an email, should be in the YouTube and my, you know, description, not in the description section, but in the about section of my channel, you can shoot me an email. I can uh, sell it to you through PayPal or something along those lines. And yeah, I hope you have a great afternoon. Talk to you later. Bye.